too easy. Hope this is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. When I first saw her, a black cat crossed my trail. Bad news and high heels made me go off the rails But one look at her, she's oh so fine I know I've got to make her mine She's just my kind, can't get her off my mind She's my kind of woman, I need a soul did at the moment. You kind of can. There you go. Yeah, you can. <gasps> it's looking so good. It's coming together. We are pumped right now. Um, it's crazy. So I put two coats on the bumper and it honestly looks pretty perfect, but we're going to put a third coat on just to make sure it's like super shiny and sheen. And um, on the middle strip, that's just one coat and it looks stellar. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave you guys and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, you guys, day two of painting is underway. However, we found out some sad news. There was a little bit of spillage throughout the night. We checked it like, what, 10 o'clock last night after we got back from our run? Yep. And it all looked fine. But this morning we woke up to the one area of spillage and you'll never guess where it was. Over a table. So we'll show you that. <laughs> um, so it's actually, uh, the spillage is where we kind of have like these uh, gutters kind of on the side of the roof. Um, which collects like rainfall and stuff. So we think what's happened is the paint slowly dripped and kind of started dripping in there. Uh, through that little um, joint right there. So that's fun, but nothing we can't fix. We'll fix it another day, but for now we're gonna focus on painting and continuing what we started. <laughs> Okay guys, another day of painting and uh, it's it's coming along real nice. It's taken a while, but it's... Uh, it's worth it. Yeah, <laughs> and it's kind of like therapeutic work, just doing the it same is. thing. And it's not necessarily hard, it's just takes a while. And there's a huge reward with it. So a lot of the jobs that we've done so far, there's not like an insane visual reward yet. I remember when we first did the floors mm. and we did like the rust -Oleum. Ooh. Yeah, it made like when such we a first big did difference. the rustoleum on the floors, yeah, it made a huge difference. But so this lower one, the middle one, and then the third one are all complete. The back bumper is complete. Tomorrow, I need to put two more coats or one more coat on the top one, one more coat on the front bumper, and, and I need to put like four more layers on the roof. Um, I don't know if it's the paint that we got, but whatever it is, I don't necessarily recommend it. Um, after, after you've done like, so this side part has maybe four coats, um, it looks fantastic. It does, but it looks really it good. It just so surprises me that I have to put like four or five coats of this thing on. I guess you get what you pay for, because we got the cheaper one, but it it's still like cheap, 80 it was $90. <laughs> so that's where we're going to leave you for tonight, and hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow so we can get back at it. Bye. Okay guys, uh, today we have made a stop off at one of our favorite places, Lowe's. Lowe's. And we are actually about to go and get our paint uh, for the whole of the bus. So. You might be thinking, haven't you been painting the bus? We have, but this is the main, oh, 
This is the main event. <laughs> this is the main event. The bulk of the paint. Cause the we creme de la creme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The whole bus is going to be painted this other than the side rails and bumpers, so we are very excited. So, you know, while you're waiting to figure out which color we ended up deciding on, go ahead and like this video. Give it a little thumbs up. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, my thumb is crazy crooked. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. Woo! We're just kidding. We're not painting the bus pink. Wouldn't go with the honey theme. Uh, well, it was actually really cool. We just found a sample of some paint that is like almost the color uh, that we was exactly looking for. What? It and is the color we were looking it's for. It's called spun honey. So <laughs> how perfect is that? So we weren't planning on getting a sample, but this was just like right there on display. For a dollar. Um, and so we're like, let's just get this, see how it looks. And this might be the new color of honey, spun honey. Yay! Hey, okay. We're going to paint a little sample piece right back here of our spun honey. Okay, okay. so give it a spin. Ah, oh, it's perfect. <laughs> spin honey. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, huh? Yeah. Oh, you guys. Look at that, it looks so good. Okay guys, so this is gonna be the new color of honey. Spun honey, baby. Yeah, we're so excited. We said it kind of looks like a, a lemon popsicle. <laughs> Something like that. Like a creamsicle, like ice cream. Like a lemon creamsicle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we just gotta go get the Real paint, not the sample paint. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Okay, but for real, let's get some paint on. super successful day. I got two full coats on all of these and Scott just got home from work for the day and I was so excited to show him, look, I only have one more coat to do on all these side rails and then we're done. And then he was like, what about that one? I genuinely forgot that I had to do that at all. It's not even taped off and so no part of me had this registered in my mind. I would have taped it off, I would have started working on it, but 100% totally forgot that was a thing. So, guess what I'm doing tomorrow. Okay, so it's time to put the final coat on the other side and do the top part that I forgot about. <laughs> Scott was like, what's that? Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, I have my fruit strip, I have my ibuprofen, I have my Pokemon sweater, got my water, I'm ready to do this. Close your eyes, get out of your skin. Only this matter. Okay, you guys, guess who's here? Hi. <laughs> you look like you just woke up. <laughs> Just got home from work. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the final coat on all of this and we're gonna do the most satisfying thing of the day and rip it off. Ooh. Well, not rip the paint off, rip the green tape off, the frog tape. Okay, ready? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my goodness! Look at that one, all done. Yes. Scott's just standing over here admiring it. 
What do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks so fresh, so clean. I honestly can't believe it. So yeah, it looks sharp. It looks really fresh, really clean. We're really happy about it. The only place that I messed up was right here where I'm focusing the camera on. So you're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, it's looking good. Okay, taking the tape off is way more fun than putting the tape on or even painting. I love this part. Okay, so we are planning on the painting our rims. Um, since we're doing like the rails and stuff white, uh, we also want to do the trims white. Don't know if it's a good idea, a bad idea. We'll let you know in about a year's time. <laughs> Okay, super happy with uh, how that came out. Uh, the, uh, the rim part sprayed real nice and easy. Um, all the parts on the inside, it's almost got like grease to it um, that I don't want to clean out because I think it's meant to be there. Um, and so we'll probably just leave it like that. Um, I'm, I'm just happy that the rim kind of took the paint really well. Um, and I just think this will kind of give it such a uh, complete different look and make it kind of look more retro, which um, is exciting. Woo! Spun honey, baby. You guys, something exciting is about to happen. Okay guys, that is a wrap yeah. for today. <laughs> See you later. Okay guys, um, it is a, a beautiful day today. It's uh, nice and sunny, but not too hot. And so we're gonna take this day and continue painting honey. Weatherman Scott reporting for duty. <laughs> Here in Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, it's looking so good and I just went inside to go change the camera battery and walking back out just It looks unreal. It's a completely different bus um, So I told Scott I said, okay, I need you to march inside and come right back out because That moment just was so amazing. Okay, let's wait for him <laughs> Right yeah. oh, I just can't wait to get all those little bits of yellow gone and then you'll get the full effect. You guys, this is the last time you're gonna see the bus with school bus yellow. <laughs> get ready for spun yellow! <laughs> Scott's hat today. <laughs> no, it just has a memory. Sorry about that. Memory also, too. I'm wearing my sweatshirt inside out. You might have seen the tag, so that way I don't mess it up. <laughs> okay guys, the night has fallen. 
The night has fallen. It never looks like the night has fallen, but it no, has. No, but look. Uh, hold on, I'll show you. Look, it is nighttime. <laughs> So that's where we're gonna leave it. Uh, we got a good base coat on pretty much all the sides other than the front because we did um, some more spraying on the front before we painted it. Uh, so that's where we're gonna leave it and hopefully we can continue throughout the week. So we decided we wanted to paint these things white as well. No, and not this part. No. Just this part. <laughs> the silver part. So we're going to do that. Okay, guys, here's my ingenious idea. Um, we're going to be painting these on the edges. We're going to trim them out white um, just to kind of go with all the accents of the bus. Um, but the screws that I've taken out are like super old and just dirty. And so I wanted to spray the tops without affecting the thread. So I came up with this ingenious idea of just using some scrap foam board, pushing them in, so now I can just spray the tops. Pretty proud of that one. Okay, so yesterday I got all of this trimmed and today it's time for the second coat. I think we're gonna do three coats overall and I'm not sure if we told you guys yet, but we decided not to spray, like use our sprayer just because it's been super windy the past few days and that would mean the spray potentially getting on all of our neighbors, houses, cars, stuff like that. So we, that's why we decided to roll. Just roll with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gotten so cold over the past couple of days, so sweatshirts it is, and it's time for the Let second coat. Don't you be you and I'll be me. That's what it took to open my eyes. Don't need an answer, just some kind of reply. Okay guys, that is where we're gonna leave you this week. Uh, we hope you like the new look of honey. Let us know what you think. Um, yeah, spun honey has turned out to be beautiful. Um, the weather's actually been pretty bad and it's looking like it's gonna be raining for the next couple days. And so um, it's not completely done, even though it kind of looked really good right now. <laughs> we um, still need to finish and touch up and do all that. Yeah, all kind of the uh, details and trimming and stuff. And so, but that's where we're going to leave it and we'll get to that uh, some other day. So you guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like how beautiful honey turned out, give it a double thumbs up. That's not a thing, but you know, you get the idea. Um, be sure to comment, let us know what you think. We're really happy about the color and just how beautiful she looks, how fresh she looks. And you guys, we'll be back next week. Yeah.